Hello everyone, this is ASMR if today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial. Today I'll show you how to manipulate photo like this. Uh, I'm just opening up uh, image like that. I just made this one. In this type of manipulation, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, at first I'll open up this photo. This one is a uh, uh, desired photo which is uh, downloaded from deviantart.com i'll give you that download link on my video description so at first uh, i want to just uh, reduce the sky over there okay i'm going to the quick selection tool just making the brush size bigger by pressing the third bracket closing and just select once it's easy to select okay and hit the mask options uh, one thing is that uh, the common problem in this one uh, don't do mask and uh, right now because of you have to go to the select option and make it inverse or shift control i okay then mask it okay a mask ready and just apply press the apply layer mask okay after that go to the file and go to the new options and from the new options uh, I'll take a blank artboard uh, which is uh, 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 2560 and 1440 uh, color will be ash color which is a e a e a e and hit the create button you'll get the blank layer okay blank uh, artboard actually and take this desert to in these options or uh, in this uh, case okay press the control T and make it just adjust with it okay press ctrl t again and go to the perspective options and select the perspective like that okay and hit the ok button in this area um, i'm just making it in the downside like that okay that's good and uh, in the background i'm selecting here i'm just closing this one uh, save this one for the future use okay and um, uh, behind this hill i'll add a sky and go to the file and place embedded and here is sky and another sky like that okay i think this sky is good hit the okay button and make it bigger you can just adjust with the hills like that okay and hit the okay button uh the color is not match over there uh, that's why i'm just going select this desert just okay placing the sky okay that's good and uh, select this hill layer i'm uh, rename this one hill and sky okay selecting the hill and going to the the levels from the adjustment layer and adjust the color like that uh, mask this one before that mask this one and just selecting like that okay that's good that's good after that take a blank layer and go to the brush options and I downloaded some cloud brush. I'll use cloud brush for this picture. Here is cloud brush, and before that, make it white. Make the opacity uh, eighty-two percent. Flow fill or flow eighty-three percent. Just brush. Okay, this uh, brush is uh, too much strong. For that, I will. Just adjust this one like that. From that shape dynamics, I'll make like that. Select here. Okay. Now you can use this one. Okay. Uh, press Control T and transform this one. Make it bigger like that. And hit the OK button. And go to the filter and then blur and motion blur from the motion blur just make it like that and hit the ok button 
and press Ctrl T make it smaller like that and hit OK adjust the opacity of the brush ok that's good press Ctrl T make it big ok uh, our background is uh, ready uh, now I'll go to the file and open open up this stone and I'll cut this stone uh, using the pen tool here is the pen tool I'm cutting this one and I'm going forward I have another tutorial about the uh, pen tool uh, you can watch that okay I'm going forward <laughs> Okay, after select uh, the with the paint tool just right button and go to the right button and make selection and hit the ok button okay uh, our selection is ready and I will mask it okay, our stone like that and I will take this stone in our background and press ctrl T and adjust the size with that okay and hit the ok button after that uh, I'm just turning it off and making it safe for the future use and after that I'll go to the file and open our model uh, this is our model and open it up and after opening this one um, I'll use a selection tool quick selection tool and I'm going to the adjustment and level uh, link is the light and shadows for the selection purpose okay after that select this background layer and go to the quick selection tool and just select the model you can select it easily just because of the background is um, another tone uh, from the model and you know how to select this one <music> selection is done but uh, here is some age uh, options uh, I need make it smooth yes reduce okay smooth reducer make it smooth you can drag it okay smooth reducer feather if you need feather please add feather but not too much adjust the age shifting or other things properly ok make it smooth ok uh, that's fine and go to the select option and make layer with a layer new layer mask okay our model is selected now I am just making here press ctrl T and select with that and make it flip horizontal and you can just set it here you can adjust the okay that's good here is a dot that's why I'm just place the apply layer mask and here also apply layer mask 
and after that uh, here is hill fog and the sky i'm making it group and making another copy making it merge and go to the filter and blur and lens blur from the lens blur i'll make like that blurry effect you can blurry curve and amount okay and here go to the filter and the blur and the from the filter gallery go to the tile shift from the tile shift blur i'll make it blur like that and hit the ok button ok our background ready but here is we need shadow as take another blank layer behind this rock and take the brush tool and take this one this brush make it smaller make the opacity down and fill down and make it black give a shadow shadow over there again okay press the control T and transform this one like that and make it a little bit you can down the opacity a little bit that's good uh, take another blank layer and just brush size okay please increase the opposite and fill of the brush and press ctrl T you can just make the shadow under the hand and select this one make the opposite down a little bit and take the eraser tool and erase from here and another blank layer and brush once here press ctrl T make it bigger stretch this one you can make like that shadow from the legs and make this shadow another copy this shadow take it this control T and just place here and go to the filter and blur and Gaussian blur okay and take the brush okay press ctrl T you can just adjust with that and hit the ok button Actually, you should uh, adjust this one. And, okay. You can reduce the fill fill options. Okay. Uh, after that, take another blank layer. Use a shadow here. Press Ctrl T. You can make it bigger. Hit the OK. Go to the filter and go to the blur and Gaussian blur. and hit ok and after that select this stone and select this shadow and mask it for that just reduce a little bit ok after that I'll go to the file and place embedded options I have a stock uh, bard which is the hummingbird and I'll make it 
smaller I rotate this one and hit ok ok uh, after that select all the layers make it group make it merge after that go to the filter and camera filter from the camera filter I will go to the adjustment I will increase the exposure Expre uh, uh, the contrast decrease the highlight shadow add some blacks and from the HSL I'll increase the red color orange color luminance should decrease this one okay and aqua will give saturation of aqua and blue decrease the luminance of green and add some vignette a little bit okay and go to the camera calibration I'll make like that and hit the OK button after making this one I'll take another blank layer going to the just uh, the gradient tools take a gradient like that Just control T and adjust this one and hit OK after that Taking, making group making it match and going with the filter and the color effects pro google nick collection color effects pro and selecting the cross processing and using l05 and hit the ok button ok my image is ready uh, and thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question or query please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe and share my channel thank you so much